Hello, I'm Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com. This is the chart for the full moon, 12th of March, except for London, the UK. So if you're somewhere else in the world, just ignore the, what we call the houses. But notice the emphasis on this magenta sector here. And this is where Neptune, the Sun, Chiron and Mercury are currently travelling through, along with the south node of the moon. That was to do with the eclipses that we, we happened uh, in February. Now what is really important about this particular full moon, and full moons always bring to light what is hidden, is that the sun is very close to Chiron, and that's the archetype of the wounded healer. And the sun and Chiron join just one day a year. They are almost there, they will actually join this week on Wednesday, and that will be at 2.41 a.m. in the UK. That's universal time. Now Pisces is the most sensitive sign of the zodiac and Mercury is still there at this full moon. Dreams are very important for Pisces to have a vision, to go deep into the, the waters, which is what the cosmic waters, which is what Pisces is all about. But it's also that hypersensitivity, which is a blessing and also a curse. Now, I believe very strongly that the gift is in the wound. And Chiron, the archetype of the wounded healer, is a very important archetype in astrology. It's only started to be in use around the 1977, the birth of the New Age movement, and how our world has changed since then. And people born in the 60s, if you're born then, you more than likely will have Chiron in the sign of Pisces because it travelled through that sign for almost 10 years and it's currently doing that now. So it's a return if you're about the age of 50, you're having Chiron back where it was at your birth. The gift, Pisces gift, imagination, music, great art, transcendence, compassion, healing, and using modalities, Chiron is very much the wounded healer, using modalities such as homeopathy, flower essences, anything to do with water itself, energy medicine, how sound healing would be a very good thing for Pisces, and things such as essential oils, the earth, this energy, because Pisces can drift away into the world of the imagination, but also fantasy, illusion. So when the moon is in Virgo, the moon in Virgo is asking us to ground, to earth, to listen to our bodies. It's an earth sign, Virgo. So what are our bodies telling us about our health? Where in our body might there be discomfort or even illness or pain? And this is a very good time to be looking at that. And also, if you need help, to find a healer who works with those kinds of modalities. Reflexology is another interesting one because anything, Pisces governs the feet. So anything that, a pedicure or anything to do with your feet, will also be very grounding. Now, the moon itself in Virgo is making a very good positive connection to Pluto. Here it is, Pluto is in the Earth sign of Capricorn. That blue line is called a trine. So there's a very good energy at this time for transformation, for looking at things that have been buried because Pluto does tend to bury things, but the full moon brings those buried things to light. The Mars energy is interesting because Mars has just moved sign. It's now in Taurus, another physical Earth sign. And Mars spends about six weeks in a sign. So it's now started this new journey. And it's interesting, it's making a very, very good connection to the node, the nodes of the moon, both the north node in Virgo and the south node in Pisces. The nodal axis is something I like to work with with clients. The people who come to me tend to have a planet near the nodal axis or at a right angle to it. And it is very significant 
because it is about the past and the future and destiny and talents and a soul a soul story that might may be blocking you in this lifetime and it will show up in this lifetime but not necessarily in the same way but as the archetypes represent what they what are they saying so the south node pisces is to do with neptune so this is a time of maybe bringing up things such as old wounds disappointments from the past a lack of trust and belief in the universe and one astrologer says you know Chiron and Pisces is a feeling of being forsaken we are not alone we all exist within this amazing universe that we have we are all connected now via of course the internet the other very important astronomical and astrological event at the moment is Venus of course here's Venus in Aries it's 11 degrees Aries at the full moon 43 minutes it is retrograde and once it's just 10 degrees from the Sun it will no longer be visible in the night sky and you if you do your maths you can see that is very close so if you haven't seen Venus as an evening star please go out tonight before she disappears. So Venus's cycle, 40 days, 40 nights, retrograde, will join Chiron. And that's a very interesting phenomenon because that maybe happens once in the course of the year, but this year it will be happening three times. So the next major event of Venus and Chiron coming together will actually be on the 14th of April, Good Friday, which is symbolic in itself. So healing wounds, especially around the feminine energy. Venus in Aries is the pioneer. She goes first. She's Artemis and Diana. And I have a, a re recording, a webinar I recorded last week, and there will be a link on my website to that recording. It's packed full of wonderful images that I say so myself, and people have reported back some very extraordinary experiences with the guided meditation I introduce at the end of it. So Venus, love, self-love, especially in Aries. When we take care of ourselves and love ourselves, we invite in love from others. That could be romantic, but also friendships. It's a universal energy, Venus. Uranus and Jupiter are still opposite each other. That's the events in the world that we're seeing with protests still going on. So I'm not going to dwell on that anymore. But notice Venus, look at her in the night sky. And Mercury also will be changing sign in a couple of days. In fact, on Monday. It's a Monday at 2107 in the evening in the UK. So Mercury moving into Aries. There's this fresh energy coming and we are of course just about a week away from the spring equinox a very important day in the calendar but now enjoy this full moon use the energy of Virgo to clear space to tidy to sort to discriminate what is really important in your life and that's what Virgo loves to do it also loves detoxing. So that's a bit of a health thing. But it's also looking at habits on a daily level because I do believe that's how we live our lives. So use Mars's energy to invigorate you, to get down to things along with Venus. Let's just do it. Thank you for watching. Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com